Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rita. And I'm Madison. Welcome to Wolf TV. Here is the news for Thursday, February 17, 2022. We want to give a special thanks to all the parents who participated in parent-teacher conferences. Thank you for caring about your students' educational his destiny. Recently, Mr. Ferguson and his aerospace engineering students had the opportunity to work with NASA to launch a weather balloon carrying multiple experiments to the very edge of space. VCA student Danny Lopez went with them and put this package together for Wolf TV. I'm Mariana, I'm a sophomore. I'm Dakota, I'm a freshman. And we're both in the aerospace engineering pathway. We're here, we're here today at Deer Trail School launching a weather balloon with a um, compilation of projects made by the aerospace students. Uh, and we'll be able to send the data collected by this weather balloon to NASA. Uh, so for one of the projects that we're sending out, we're sending out one of the Wolfies. There should be two of them, and this is one of them. Probably sending it to space or near outer space. You guys ready to, to walk? We're gonna go outside. We're gonna play like little Pied Piper. We're gonna pick up our payloads, okay. all on the same side. Okay. We're gonna pull the string tight so that there's no string dragging on the ground. Okay. They're going to finish filling the balloon. When the balloon's done, they're going to walk it over here. Then we're going to pass control to the balloon master, the guy in the red coat there. And he's going to do a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. The girls basketball team takes on North Glen in the Wolves' Den this Saturday. JV tips off at 10 a.m. and Varsity hits the court at noon. Come out and cheer on your Wolves in the last home game of the season. Good luck, ladies. Last week, Project Lead the Way Biomedical Sciences instruct instructor Mr. Pat Leinberger had a special presentation for his students. Let's take a look at what made this lesson so unique. There are different ways you can collect blood. You can collect it in the syringe. That's what I'm going to be showing you today. You can collect it in tubes. That's normally how they do it at the doctor's office. So Chloe Ann comes in, teaches the kids how to draw blood, and then we just let them practice on our phlebotomy arms. You don't want to have to poke them more than necessary. You don't ever want to poke anybody more than you have to. Once you have enough blood, you're going to get a piece of gauze and place it above your needle. You're not gonna apply any pressure on it. You know, this is basically just an introduction to the process of how to draw blood. It's excellent to have students that are already certified to be able to come into our lower level classes and, and teach the younger students how to be able to do this. I think it's important for the younger kids to know about different health careers that don't necessarily require a lot of schooling. We have like five or six students, I believe, right now, uh, in addition to clearly getting their phlebotomy certificate through the program. I thought it was very cool. Very good experience, and I would definitely want to do that during my senior year and maybe get my certificate. I learned what phlebotomy was, different types of ways to draw blood, different tests you use to diagnose with blood draws. In December, I took a test through the National Health Association, and I was able to get my phlebotomy certificate, and I was certified phlebotomist that can work at a hospital and draw blood. Now let's check in with our friends in the Picture This Photography Club about their upcoming photography contest that students and staff can enter. Hello, Westy students. I'm Ariana with Picture This Photography Club, here to announce our bi-weekly photo competition. For our first competition, the subject is texture in black and white. Use strong lighting to really play a contrast when photographing textures. Staff and students send your best photo to the Photography Club's Instagram through DM at westy.photography.club. Be sure to tune in to Wolf TV's next episode where we'll announce the top three winners. 
And now the best part of the show, Mr. Yonka's bad dad joke of the week. <laughs> Westy, it's so cold still in winter. Guess what snowmen eat for breakfast, though? Frosted flakes. Have a good one, Westy. It's so bad. This year, in addition to some amazing experiments, Westminster High School Aerospace Engineering students sent two special passengers along for the ride. These brave explorers reached a height of 96,000 feet above the surface of the Earth, and now they can be yours. Students and staff can make a donation of just $2 for a chance to win one of the Westminster High School Space Wolfies. The winner will be announced in two weeks on Wolf TV. Stop by the accounting office and purchase your tickets today. The bathroom situation here at Westie has been an ongoing source of stress and confusion for students, teachers, security, and administration this year. I sat down with Principal Kewa to discuss the underlying reasons that are causing this issue. How much damage has been done to the bathrooms monetarily? Right now there's approximately $15,000 in damages that have been done and that is unfortunately being taking, uh, taking away from our classroom uh, expenses. How many bathrooms are currently unavailable? Right now there are two bathrooms uh, unavailable because of the damage that we are still repairing. What is the anticipated time frame in which these bathrooms will be available? Right now, it's, we're not sure exactly how long they're going to take. It really depends on when we get supplies in and when we have uh, the laborers um, have availability with our laborers to come in and, and do the work. And where do we go from here? I think right now what I need is every student's cooperation in the building to respect uh, Westminster High School. Unfortunately, we have students right now that are um, damaging the bathrooms and unfortunately those that are doing what they need to do every day are being negatively affected by that and uh, if we can just all respect each other and our property and the school as a whole we'd be in a much better situation and we could get some freedoms back for our students. Now Alejandro and Rachel are back again with more tips for your WPS Foundation scholarship application. You have, have just, just over 10 days left to submit your scholarship application. The WPS Foundation Scholarship is for you. Yes, you. The Foundation plans on giving out over $250,000 in scholarship money to Westie and Hidden Lake High School seniors this year. Don't, don't miss, miss out. When writing essays, make sure you're answering the prompt and don't be afraid to sing your own praises. You're almost at the finish line. Good luck with your application. As always, reach out to us by visiting the Future Center texting or calling with questions, and scheduling meetings to get your questions answered. When you apply for the scholarship, you'll get something out of it either way. You'll either receive the scholarship, which is tangible outcome, or you'll get valuable insight into what you might need to do in future to improve your odds. You only lose by not applying at all. Get, get started today. There's, There's still time. Now let's take a look at our coming events billboard. Today, it's all about next week's financial aid application night in the Future Center. Remember, this is President's Day weekend, which means no school on Monday. That's it for today's Wolf TV. Thanks for watching. I'm Madison. And I'm Rito. Because of the short week next week, Wolf TV will not have a show. We hope you enjoy your three-day weekend, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>